Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane for those who don't know me and today we're going to be talking about the number one skill you should be learning if you want to be a good artist or animator. If that sounds like something that might interest you, then stick around and let's begin. So I know you people have places to be and things to do and time is money. So I'm going to keep the answer to this question, to this title short. And then if anyone wants to stick around for a little bit longer, then I'm going to go into more detail about what it is that I'm talking about. So for those who are interested in just knowing what I'm referring to, the number one skill that we should all learn to be better artists and animators is life drawing. That's it. That's the skill. Literally. <laughs> and there are many reasons why. And now I'm going to go into those reasons because you have stayed longer, apparently. So thank you for staying a little bit longer with me. Um, I've been drawing, like a lot of us artists, forever, since I can remember. And as anything that we learn, there have been moments where I've learned a lot and there have been moments where I have stagnated and I felt like I haven't advanced at all. <laughs> but one of the things that I have found has helped me improve exponentially in the last few years has definitely been live drawing. And what do I mean by live drawing? Live drawing is studying, observing, and trying to dissect as well as draw things from life. It doesn't necessarily have to be just a human. It can be your pets. It can be your plants. It could be houses around you, architecture, statues, anything from the real world. And this is so important because it trains your brain to observe the way things look. It trains your brain to learn how things move and work. And it trains your brain to kind of store this library of visual knowledge that is extra, extra helpful for when you're trying to create an animation, a comic, or an illustration. So I like to give this example. Think about a bike and just draw a bike without looking at any reference or any photo. Just draw a bike. And you'll soon see, if you haven't spent a lot of time observing bikes, that you have no idea how a bike works <laughs> at all. Um, and this is because you have not spent enough time observing it from life and drawing it from life. And why is from life so important? Why can't I just look at a photo and train that way? Well, you can, obviously. <laughs> you can look at photos, you can look at references and learn from that and create a bigger library for your brain. However, when you look at things in real life, you observe them from different angles and you are more susceptible to perceiving the perspective, the weight of that object, the nuances of the object, like say, indentations on the bike or scratches on the bike places where the bike maybe gets a little bit more roughed up with use and now you have that information in your brain so when you draw a person riding a bike you kind of have a little bit more information about what it is you're drawing the same thing goes for anatomy and human bodies obviously photos are great and they're an accessible way, accessible way for us to learn however when you look at a person in real life when you look at nude people in real life as well, you're more susceptible to understanding how the body works. You can see how foreshortening works, you can see how the perspective looks in different angles, different lighting, and you are more in control of the circumstances in which you are observing an object. So like I said, live drawing applies for everything in real life. Say you want to focus a lot on architecture for your drawings, then go outside and draw your house. Draw somebody else's house, draw a building, draw the roads, draw cars. It's all 
It is also important for you to have a larger library and for you to exponentially grow in your skill as an artist that I would be upset with myself if I didn't share this information. It's not like this is a thing that you're going to do and you're going to magically become the greatest artist that ever was because that's not how it works. There is no magic trick. You have to continuously draw things from life over and over and over again for the rest of your life if you want to improve in your skill and your craft as an artist, an animator, a comic book artist, illustrator, you name it. <laughs> um, and if you stop practicing for a while, then you will notice a regression, which is insane because you've already spent all of these hours learning things and you would think that you won't forget them or that they would stay with you. But if you don't continuously practice and if you don't continuously use that brain of yours, for that specific task, then you lose it. So you use it or you lose it. <laughs> that is so true and I hate it so much. Like I, I've been studying live drawing at school this year and at the beginning of the year I got really, really sick and I didn't do any live drawing for around two weeks. And when I got back, I was like, do I even know how to draw? It was, it was so bad, but that just goes to show the importance of this skill you all should and must learn to become good artists. So go outside, study life, do life drawing, try to find a life drawing class near you, or in the worst case scenario, if you don't have access to life anything, which we all know is not true because you're alive, you're watching this video, <laughs> um, then I would suggest to reference from videos instead of referencing from photos because photos because of the quality or the lighting can have can lose information about the subjects that you're studying whereas a video even if it's low quality allows you to see things in a more three-dimensional way so that you are better equipped to understand the mechanics of the things that you're studying and that is just something that like I said, is crucial to becoming a good craftsman, good artist, and I hope that this encourages you to go out there and study life. Hey guys, just a quick note from me from the future who's editing this video. I'll be providing all of you a bunch of resources for you guys to draw online from videos, and I'll be sharing all of that information on my Patreon totally for free. Uh, when you become a free member. So if you want to check that out, make sure to follow the link below. And yeah, it's a bunch of resources for you guys to do some live drawing at home. So take advantage of that. I'm not trying to gatekeep anything. Uh, so definitely want to share that with you. And yeah. The worst thing that can happen is that you are going to pay more attention to the things around you and you're going to be more present. So it's not, it's not terrible, you know? <laughs> Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in learning more about the things that you should be focusing on for your studies to become a good artist or animator, then let me know in the comments. I'll make more videos like this now that I can, now that I have more time because I'm on break. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you for the next one.